Ben Roethlisberger with the curtain call last night at uh, Heinz Field, his final start as the Steelers quarterback in the home stadium. And uh, quite the quite the broadcast and quite the ceremony put on by by the Steelers where post-game, Roethlisberger made it official. Going into the game, he said, this is likely my final game as the starter. And after the game, he told Lisa Salters, yeah, it's, 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 this is the way to go out. Uh, what would you guys think about it? Well, it was not the Kobe Bryant send-off no. that I was hoping for from <laughs> no. a performance standpoint. He barely passed Kobe's uh, point total in passing yards last yeah. night. I mean, 2.7 yards per attempt for the game for Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, it was a miserable football game to watch yeah, from was. an offensive standpoint. Uh, his numbers, that was the worst of his career uh, for yards per attempt. But He's I, on I the did. winning side. Yeah, and, th- and that's that's kind of my takeaway from it. I, I, I watched the. I wish he would have taken a helmet off in his interview with Lisa Salters, and half the time he had uh, his uh, uh, his chin guard was like a, a pacifier. Sounded like Darth Nihilus. In, in his, uh, on his mouth. I don't know if he's trying to use it as a mask or what was going on there in the end, but uh, I could I could hardly understand him. I think he just didn't want to be, see, be seen crying. Yeah, he was getting emotional in the end. I, I, I liked how he said it, it just kind of felt like my career. It wasn't pretty out there, but I we found a way to win, and I found a way to get it done. I, I thought that was sort of poetic for for Big Ben, who was unconventional as a player, and just the whole city of Pittsburgh, uh, that that franchise finding a way to get it done. It, it kind of exemplifies that city, the the blue collar mentality, uh, everything else. Uh, but from a game standpoint, I, I can't imagine a worse football game. But you won which is great, but Baker Mayfield, uh, I know after the game he said, I'm going to have to now take into consideration that I probably need to sit out the he's final out. game of the season. He's out. He's having uh, surgery on his shoulder. Yeah, he, he was. he's clearly hurt. He's, he's not good. I mean, I guess uh, he's clearly hurt. He's lowering his left shoulder going into a defender down which the left dumb. far sideline. He doesn't know any better or can't stop um, himself. I know there's a part of that I respect, and he yeah. was spinning it at times. They threw it way too much with him last night. That's yeah, on Kevin Stefanski. How many times? Nine? Nine times. It's crazy. T.J. Watt gets four, four of them. He's one TJ sack Watt. away from the NFL uh, record for most sacks in a single season to pass Michael Strahan. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at that going, why not run Nick, Ch- Nick Chubb more? Nick Chubb had 12 carries, and he was averaging nearly five yards a carry. 12 really carries bad. in that game. Coaching ball. malpractice. Coaching malpractice. I, I'm with you, Chad. I thought, you know, I thought Roethlisberger nicely wrapped it up there that it was kind of like his career. Um, you know, I thought him running along the wall there was kind of uh, it was spontaneous. The, because ca- the Cal know, Ripken type. Yeah, but he didn't know what yeah. to do. He's kind of like didn't want to run right off the field. Um, and I can totally relate to that. I mean, I, I, you put yourself in those shoes and you think like, I, I don't. I can't imagine wanting to walk off of there the last time, <clears throat> yeah. knowing it's the last time. And so that's got to be incredibly difficult. Hell, I've walked out of offices from jobs, uh, not the last one, but others that, uh, you know, I wanted to take it slow and, and make it feel like that. So um, I, I, I thought it was nice. I wish it was a better game. I wish it had more meaning for him. I've got a fondness for Pittsburgh and for that place and for a friend I have there. I was kind of thinking of the people that I know from there or who are from there and have left and what it meant to them as well. So I thought, I thought it was good in that regard. I wish that, uh, that Harris had slid and given him the snap or that the timeout had gone through so that he legitimately could have come off the field, whether he took his helmet off or not, but that we saw him walk, walk off outside of the knee. Well, Which you got lucky to get it, at the it, end. But yeah, that, that was so cool. The setup with getting that interception, allowing him to go out there and take the knee. And Such then, a bad But pick. here's where it was is not properly communicated. Mike Tomlin trying to make a cool gesture to take the knee. He's trying to call timeout frantically to stop the clock with four or five seconds left so then he could have his big exit After the knee. to an enormous ovation. Then you bring someone else out there to take the final knee Couldn't get it of done. the game. But no one knew he was doing that. So he takes the knee and he starts, you know, celebrating with his offensive line, the sidelines. So the refs just said, you know, screw it. It's fine. The game's over now. And Tomlin said the same thing. But if everyone knew what was going on, that would have been an even cooler moment to take the knee, call the timeout, exit the field, and then have someone else go out there and, and take the final knee as your 
doing whatever curtain call you're doing with the home crowd. Uh, it, it set itself up well, other than you know the game 